Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I want to jump on here to give a perfect example of a bad ad here on Pinterest. And not necessarily for the creative view. Uh, and something I want to stress here is that there's different examples of ads that are good and ads that are bad. But ads that are good really, ha it's harder to have a good ad because good ads need to tackle a whole lot of points. And they have to come full circle. This is a perfect of uh, an ad where the creative is really not the problem. The photo is not the problem. The 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 copy is not the problem, right? In fact, nailing down copy on Pinterest is pretty simple. But the problem here is is the actual website. If you guys remember from past videos, from the course, maybe even some of you guys are consulting people clients, and you've heard me say this. There's two components to the ad. There's everything that you can control on the ad side, and there's everything that you can control on the website side. This is a perfect example where the website side was lacking, and I'll, and I'll just kind of show you here. This is the ad. It looks great. 75% less fat, 100% delicious on uh, Tyson's air fried chicken, okay? If you click on the ad, all right, you come here to the website, and the first thing it does is I'll show you where it takes you. So it takes you to this, okay? Now, this is not a problem. This is not necessarily a bad thing. This is here, uh, sections for essentially aired fried chicken. The first mistake that they did is that there should be a huge sign here on the website that says air fried chicken, 75% less fat, right? That's all you need. That's all you need. You need a big banner that says that here. Then what you need is you need every single product that's potentially air fryable right, which I would not put any of these in the air fryer because it doesn't say on the label air fry. I would put these products, so like one, two, three, four, five. So five of these, I would slap them right here on the screen. I would make them really big, like this big, this big. So I'd have like four of them or five of them, right? And they would be really large. And then what I would have is a sh uh, add to cart or buy now button on all of them. Now I get it. Tyson is a company that essentially you can go buy products at the grocery store, but this should not be happening. Okay. The first thing, the first element is lack of correlation. If you're a member of the course, we talked about what correlation is. If you're going to promise on the website, well, excuse me, not promise, but if you're going to imply that there's a product to be purchased, and obviously that is, I mean, you see the product of the chicken, you see it packaged, you're assuming that you can buy it. Don't let the consumer click on the ad, come to the website, and not have the opportunity. What if there's a grocery store that's too far away and they don't want to get up? What if it's in the middle of midnight and they don't, and they want to buy it, but you know they don't feel like getting up or going to the store, and then they're going to forget it a week later? Essentially, as a company, you wasted your money doing this because... At the end of the day, by the time the person goes to the grocery store, thinks of what they want to buy, they're going to forget about this product. With everything in life going on, the news, the media, the, the notifications, the social media, they're going to forget. So the point here is, is that the first thing this company needs is they need a buy now button for you to actually buy the product. Now, let's just assume the product takes you to the, the ad takes you to a particular product. Let's say this product here. First thing is they could have done a better job with the graphics here. They could have done a better job. There's a lot of text here, okay? People have low attention spans. There should have been very simple pictures of chicken in the background that are air fried that actually look good, right? Like KFC. And then there should be a buy now button. That should That's all we should see. In this case, that doesn't see that. So the first break here was the break of correlation. There was a promise or an implication that was made that was not fulfilled. The second thing was intrigue value. There's no intrigue here. I'm not sitting here and I'm saying, oh my god, I'm dying for this chicken. On my computer, this looks like a, uh, a dried up sponge with, a, with, a, with crust on it, basically. Okay? So, that's what it looks here. And, once again, buy it now button, there's no option to buy. This is like one of the craziest things that they could do as a mistake. Alright? Now, this is a company spending hundreds of thousands, millions, God knows... Uh, with all types of advertising companies, and nobody is telling them this. Nobody is sitting here saying, you're wasting money. And guess what? There are so many other companies that are doing similar things as well. But I wanted to point this out, because if you learn anything from this video, learn that one of the most important things when it comes down to advertising is correlation bias. And what it is, is that if you have an implication or a promise on the ad, make sure it correlates to the screen. The second thing is intrigue. 
Consumers need to be intrigued. This does not look intriguing to me whatsoever. I should be seeing a background banner of a plate of just smoking fried chicken right now with the smoke rolling off it with some corn and some mashed potatoes on the side. That's what I should be seeing. But I'm not seeing that here. This is no intrigue. So what's going to happen? I'm going to see the ad as a consumer. I'm going to click on it. There's nowhere to buy. I'm going to forget about the product. I'm never going to order it. I'm never going to go to the grocery store and specifically order it. Because it's it has it's not creative enough to where it leaves a lasting impression on me. Okay? So keep that in mind, guys. And uh, keep this in your heart. Keep this in your mind. And uh, use it and for your next uh, Pinterest ad. All right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.